3, 2, 1, here we go. What is the best chess opening with the black pieces? Is it the king's Indian defense? Is it the queen's gambit declined? Some people might say it is the Sicilian knight off. I'm going to show you in this video how to destroy the Sicilian knight off with the white pieces. We have mm, Nordiabek Abdul Satarov, top player from Uzbekistan. And with black, we have Andrei Volokitin. This game took place in the Chess Olympiad. If we just reverse this kind of position, already this is looking like a beautiful setup with white. People are bringing this setup back into fashion. Let's have a look. So we're going to take it from the top here. Working in reverse. E4, C5, we have the Sicilian. Knight F3, D6, and now D4, we have the open Sicilian. Take, take. Now f6, knight c3, and now a6, the Sicilian knight off. Mm, you're controlling a light square and a dark square. So a really cool way to play. Bishop c4, normal move, you hit f7. e6, you must block this bishop, and now bishop to e3. Bishop e7 is cool, but I was wondering why not b5, hit the bishop. And if you go here, now be greedy. Play b4, attack the knight, it moves to a4, and now taking the center. When I saw this, I thought, well, what's wrong with this for black? Well, two knights in the game, two bishops in the game, and now it's time to castle. You are way, way, way ahead in development. Look at the back row. None of black's pieces are in the game. If you just move the knight back voluntarily, rookie one is already so dangerous. If you go bishop here, there's an absolutely stunning move, knight b6. I have to show you guys this variation, because I've never seen this idea before, so I wanted to put it in this video. If you take then you are crashing through in absolute style. This is the type of chess I want to play, and I, hopefully I'm encouraging you to play in this fashion as well. Absolutely just blowing open the position right now. Queen goes back to b7, and now check. If you go here, bishop h6 is already too dangerous. The queen can come in. Really, you've got a nasty discovered check. Knight f5 check looks absolutely nasty, because then the rook hits as well. So let's go back a few moves. Let's go back a few moves. If here, there was another option. Mm, rookie 1, knight d7. Now we can crash through in style. That's why we put the bishop there. Take. This is definitely the type of chess I want to play. Take, take. Crash through. Every single white piece is in the attack. If the queen moves to a5, then you might as well take the bishop and then come in with check. Beautiful. Check. And then here, you want that square. Why not? Bishop d4, bishop c5. This is already looking a bit too strong. Lots of sacrificial ideas I have to show you because I found it when studying this game for you. So that's really the point of this video is to crush the Sicilian knight off. Let's go back a few moves here. Now, black did something a bit more sensible, not too aggressive yet. Bishop e7 ready to castle. So we tuck it back. Normal move. Tuck the bishop back. b5. And now, well, because black is ready to castle, I think white needs to take some action to stop b4. So a3 is a good move. Castle. Queen e2. This, <coughs> I said it was called the Fischer Sozin attack before, but now because the Queen was on e2, it's it kind of looks like the Velimirovich attack. It can be quite difficult to pronounce this, but it is a very very aggressive way to play. It's coming back into fashion. Good stuff. Black is attacking e4 twice. No surprise. This happens often in the Sicilian. So you defend it, and now you are ready. You are ready to attack knight d7. Normal setup where the two knights defend each other. Castle. Knight c5, you hit the bishop, but this is the brilliant Fisher bishop. Drop it back. Lots of pressure. Lots of pressure. The reason I put the rook here is because later b4 is coming. Queen a5. Makes sense. You want to go b4. White plays a really cool moment, so this is the next key moment. Queen e1. I love these kind of moves because you are defending everything. Defend, defend, and now you're ready to attack. Queen e1, great move. b4. Hit the knight. Take, take. And now, really cool tactic. So the next key moment, mm, the third moment. Pause the video now if you want, or you can have a go now. Can you see a really cool tactic where it actually involves the king as well? You guys have five seconds. Knight d5, brilliant move. Can't take, check. Hit the king, and here, and now you're down a piece. Doesn't matter if you try to attack the knight, you can actually go here. But then e5, actually. Yes, maybe you put the other knight, actually. That's one option. And then 
you're just defending everything that looks pretty good now if you didn't see that maybe come back come back and now everything is crashing through beautiful stuff let's go back a bit here knight d5 cool move so knight takes and now that knight still defends it so now you remove it if if the queens come off absolute disaster of a position take take the entire center is crumbling it's actually very similar to what happened in the game mm. White gives up a pawn. I mean, White is down a pawn temporarily, but it doesn't really feel like you're down a pawn. White is crashing through in the center. Let's go back here. Queen a4. Hit the bishop, you defend. Normal move. King b1 in front of everything. Take. Take, take. If you give black two moves, put the two rooks here. Crushing against the white king. But now knight f5, and it, it's like white is the one who's crushing. Hit the bishop and g7 as well. Bishop f6, brilliant move sorry it's just a normal move you just put the bishop here rook here mm. but this is the next key moment trading pieces we understand our opponent's bishop is better so you find a way to trade just block the bishop rook e8 attacks the queen we improve the queen's placement tactics coming up on g7 knight d7 makes sense because now you want to defend b3 hit the queen I like this kind of move because now if you just put the queen on the wrong square, then you actually get forked. So that's why b3 was played. Also giving the king a little bit of room, but also giving maybe some retreating option later. You don't have to, because I think white's queen is better here. So you don't need to offer a trade. Now a trade happens. Take. Take. Now, really cool move. Next key moment, tactic number four. Well, key moment number four, take. How cool is that? That is mate so we can take the pawn and this is really mm, one reason black was struggling in this game because of the pawn structure so mm, even though it's a dynamic setup the sicilian knight off if it goes wrong then your pawns might get messed up both are weak a5 if you give black two moves black wins a4 take and then the rook and the queen combine and it's going to be checkmate very soon rook d1 a4 well can't take you lose the queen. How can white deal with this? I'll give you guys five seconds, then I'll tell you. This is the next key moment. It looks like black is the one playing on the queen side. No, white is also playing on the queen side. Mm, let me hurry up. We have. We are seven minutes in. Give me a few more minutes of your time. I'm almost done. Five seconds. White to play. Brilliant move. Swing the rook over. Can't take. You lose the queen. If they come off, then can't take again. You might have to drop the queen back because she was doing nothing, but now you take, take, and then take. You're a pawn. But okay, so what? Why not come back? Well, there's back rank mate, you see. So you can actually play uh, something useful here, and then, mm, well, you're still up a pawn. I wonder what the best move is here. Ah, king b2, that's pretty cool. Then king here can't take mate okay that's cool and now if I just go back because I'm also learning from this video it's not just you that's the cool thing about creating videos on YouTube I'm learning too if I flip around now you come in here hit the rook you might think well what's he talking about absolutely stunning move stunning move because you you actually go after the other pawn didn't even consider this and this doesn't work because you check you check and then the rooks come off really really cool move the knight comes back take you can push the pawn you're completely winning good stuff so let's go back a few moves and now i turn the engine off that's a very important skill when you're teaching yourself you ask a few questions then you turn off the engine then you encourage yourself to now you keep thinking let's turn it off here d5 is it really coming to d4 yeah it could be a distraction really d4 can be a distraction so you block I love this kind of move. Mm, lots of control. Attack this. And that queen is defending e1 square. Rook c8. You hit the queen. It drops back. And I love this kind of position. Mm, total control for white. Every square is uh, controlled. Here. There's no way in. You're going to take on a4. Really, really good stuff. And now he just totally blunders. It's not just a rook. It's the tactic that he missed. If you take, this is what he missed. Check. It's winning, except you can block. You can block with rook b5. 
And if you can do that, there's no follow up. So he's actually just down the rook. Hey, we all blunder. We all blunder. Now, in this moment, you might think, well, why not take? Well, be careful. You can't just uh, ignore the person's threat. Now you lose. So there's always a, a tactical idea. Mm, I will never resign. Mm, the opponent has to finish me off properly. And then you lose. That's checkmate. Next. There's no good way to block. That's the only way, I believe. But now check. Check. You lose the rook as well. So can't do that. Let's go back a bit. Here. So rook c4 played. Take. Take. And now mm, you want to guard the square. Guard the square. Guard the entire file. Rook b5. Good. Hit the queen. You can hit the queen. It doesn't matter. Guard the square. Guard the square. It's okay. There's no back rank idea. Queen c1 is really cool. See the blue arrows? That white rook can go back. That white rook can go back. There is no mate just in time. Good stuff. So if we go back a bit, just want to show you. In this moment, black's best move might be just to bring the queen all the way back. But it's a little bit tragic, really. If you have to do that, take. And then now white is in full control. Once again, the pawn structure is way better for white. But not only that, he is up a pawn anyway. Just up completely up a pawn. Fine. So in this moment, hey, we all blunder. We all blunder. Is this still a useful game? Absolutely, because it's like the pawn structure was always worse for white. For black, I mean. And then white played some brilliant rook moves here to pin the pawn against the queen. And then black blundered at the end because it didn't work because we can always block. So that is it for, for today. We are 11 minutes in. That is absolutely fantastic. So I hope you've learned a lot from this video. Just want to show you the point of me creating this because I'm learning this new setup. Queen e2, the Fisher soz in attack, and then we are ready to blast through. But first we control all the squares. We're ready to go g4, g5, h5. It didn't happen in the game, but that's because we actually took over on the queen side. We took over on the queen side with that absolutely stunning move. And then we just saw so much control. And then we saw the rest of the game. Good. That's it for now. So my normal way to end these videos is to make a few suggestions. Can you see in the top left corner? Magnus Carlsen Masterclass. New video. I released it yesterday. I released it eight hours ago. So I just wanted to make this one mm, as another video. So that actually features... Magnus Carlsen beating the Slav. Now, if you want another video where I connect it with this one, bottom left corner is Ferruja. He wins with the best opening, and that is the Sicilian Nidorf. It's actually having this opening, but from the black side this time. That video has 1,700 views and growing. And if you don't like any choice, then in, in the top right corner, it might be a better choice. YouTube's option for you. Top right corner. So... Thank you so much for watching. Which video will you choose next? One, two or three?